What's up you guys? I am back with another video. Today we're going to do something a little bit simple. We're just going to do a little bit of Q&A. I asked you guys to ask me some random ass questions and here is what you came up with. Alright, so the first question we have here is from Marcus Knight. Um, he is a YouTuber, so you can go and check him out. What is the biggest challenge in trying to post about your niche? So I guess my niche, uh, I have a several different ones that I like to do. Um, I do some vlogs here and there, but mostly I like to do paranormal videos, uh, documentaries, stuff like that. I guess the biggest challenge regarding those two niches themselves uh, for one, the paranormal one would have to be finding locations to go and visit. Sometimes they're a little bit hard to find, not that exciting. Sometimes you go there and absolutely nothing happens, so it's kind of hard to make an entertaining video about paranormal stuff when nothing happens and obviously you don't want to fake it. Uh, the other thing would be the documentary style um, videos that I like to do. I've done a few of them now, um, some on conspiracy theories, a couple other different things, investigating companies and stuff like that. The biggest thing I would say would be getting the research done, finding all the information regarding that certain topic, especially when a lot of these videos end up coming out to be like well over 40 minutes long the amount of editing that goes into that but whatever i enjoy doing it and i plan on doing more in the future the next question we have is from frank sartain what is your favorite song i have a lot of favorite songs uh, um the most important song to myself i guess i'd consider it my favorite would have to be the immigrant song by led zeppelin the reason why i love that song so much is not because of the song itself but more of what it represents. So if you know me, I'm massively into rock music, hard rock music, metal, that sort of thing. And that was probably one of the very first songs that I was introduced to from the rock genre. So ever since then, I've pretty much been a huge fan of the rock genre because of that specific song. And it's also a fantastic song. All right, so next is, who is the one person you would want to be stuck on a desert island with? And my channel name is Amber Killsby. All right, Amber, um, one person I would probably want to be on an island with would have to be Daryl from The Walking Dead. Uh, Norman Reedus, just because he is such a badass character, you didn't say fictional or non-fictional, so I'm, I'm gonna use it, but Daryl from The Walking Dead, just because he is, like I said, a massively badass character who is amazing with his survival skills and instincts and stuff like that, so you'd be bound to survive with a dude like that around you. Next question we have from Julie Moland. Moland, sorry if I said your last name wrong. What inspires you? What inspires me? You know, success, I guess you could say. If you're asking specifically here on YouTube what inspires me, um, seeing other people who have uh, managed to succeed, who are very humble people, who've literally come from absolutely nothing. People like PewDiePie, uh, Shane Dawson, Mr. Beast. As long as you know you're a humble person, then then somebody like that definitely inspires me. So definitely I would have to say other YouTubers when it comes to YouTube itself. Okay, next question is from Rose Kelling. Her channel name on YouTube is Drifterthorn. Her question is, do you exist? Um, well I certainly hope so. Otherwise, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, um, next question is from Pamela Fitzgerald, also another YouTuber. Alright, Pamela Fitzgerald asked, Has everything in your life so far, even the bad, got you to where you are today, or was there something you would have preferred not have gone through? Wow, uh, that's a pretty in-depth question, I guess you could say. Not everything in my life so far has been perfect. Um, I guess I've had to really kind of fight for the things that I want, whether I've won or lost. Um, I guess anything that's worth fighting for, you gotta you gotta challenge yourself and put yourself out there. So, I mean, yeah, there's probably maybe a couple of things that I probably would have done differently, but that's obviously knowing the information that I know today. So it's not like I can go back and 
you know, change those things. But yeah, a lot of this stuff has definitely made me uh, into the person that I am. I've tested myself uh, working in a lot of different businesses where I've learned a lot of different skills. Um, and obviously, had I never done those things, I never would have been able to do the things that I'm doing now, right? Okay, so moving on to the next question is from Princess Kimberly. What do you hope to accomplish within the next year? All right, so like I said earlier, what I hope to accomplish within the next year, I hope you mean 2019. Um, so recently I started up a new business. I would like to get that up and running properly. And the biggest thing I wanna do is definitely do a lot here on YouTube. I have a massive goal for the end of the year of 10,000 subscribers. So if you could help me out, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I'd also like to really do a lot of traveling this year. I want to go back to Italy. It's been a little while since I've gone there. So we have a question from YouTuber named Crazy Fins. Uh, what made you want to start YouTube? Um, what made me want to start YouTube? Honestly, it just looked like a hell of a lot of fun. All right, so we got a um, question from Moose Sizzle, who asked me, when's, when's your next haunted adventure? When, I am not quite sure. I'm hoping to do a couple within the next few weeks. Um, there's a couple places that I'm really interested in going. Yeah, there's basically an old haunted asylum. Hopefully within the next two to four weeks. I'm working on a bunch of other projects that um, are just gonna be consuming a lot more of my time, so we'll see when that happens. <laughs> next question is from Mo. Do the carpets match the drapes? Do the carpets match the drapes? No, they don't. Blonde hair, as you can see from the rest of my facial hair. Um, my facial hair is definitely a lot darker than what's on my head. I don't know how that happened. I don't dye my hair. This is all natural hair color, and so is the facial hair. And the facial hair matches the rest of the carpet, I guess you could call it. <laughs> That was a funny question. <laughs> Alright, so I was going to end it there, but I did have a few more questions come through, so I'm just going to go through the rest of them. The next one we have is from Big Apple Ranch. Uh, they asked, what's the biggest challenge you have faced so far as a YouTuber? Uh, the biggest challenge, I guess, as a small YouTuber is, um, you know, staying motivated. Uh, it's a little bit hard when you're a small YouTuber and you make a whole bunch of videos, and sometimes those videos they get very little views, right? Sometimes it's literally just your friends watching, but you know what? You gotta kind of overcome those challenges and the way to do that is just, you know, kind of keep thinking outside the box, come up with new material, new content that you can create. The next one is from Noman Hazarvi. Sorry if I mispronounced your name, I apologize. Uh, they asked, how do you deal with negative comments? Most of the time I just completely ignore them, uh, especially if they're totally irrelevant or... Some people just post like really stupid shit trying to mock people or make fun of people, but you know what, a lot of those people, they probably have shitty lives themselves and they're just, ta just taking it out on you. Um, some of the negative comments, I have to say, a lot of times I just literally kind of laugh at them, uh, especially if they're kind of funny. But yeah, I mean, I don't take them too seriously. Um, sometimes if people have good constructive criticism that might be able to help your, your channel in the future, then, you know, pay attention to that. But other than that, I mean, negativity-wise, I just, I don't really care for it, so not a big deal. The next one, oh man, this channel name is really complicated. I missed Hawaii. Sorry again if I mispronounced that. Uh, when you started out, what were the main setbacks you faced and how did you overcome them? Um, I, this question's coming from a YouTuber, so I'm assuming they're referring to YouTube in general. I mean, I really don't think I found many setbacks, so to say. Uh, maybe sometimes you'd put out a video that you kind of had a higher expectation for. So, I mean, sometimes you get a little disappointed. But again, boy, going back to, you know, the answer I had before, if, you know, your shit's not doing so well, maybe it's time to, to change up your content or try and be a little bit more original and think up a, a few different things that you can try out and do and see what works for you. Uh, this one is from... Speed Streak. 
what kept you moving forward despite all of your setbacks? Again, uh, I guess that's kind of the same thing, um, but really just being mo motivated. I'm, I'm a pretty competitive person. Um, I've also been involved in a lot of businesses, so I know um, how to kind of face challenges and I know that you know the road to to growing it's never easy so you just gotta you know kind of keep moving forward right if if you post a video on YouTube and it doesn't do that well move on to the next one it's not a big deal okay this next comment or question is kind of weird um, this one's from RC gamer YT why are we still here just to suffer every night I can feel my leg and my arm even my fingers, the body I've lost, the comrades I've lost, won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still here. You feel it too, don't you? I honestly don't know how to friggin' answer that question. Like, uh, this one comes from Simply Shan. What's something you've always wanted to do, but are too afraid to do? Um, I do have a little bit of a, a fear of heights, um, so... For those of you who are Canadian, obviously you know what I'm talking about, um, but in Canada we have one of the tallest towers in the world called the CN Tower. Um, they do something called, oh man, what is it called? The Edge Walk. Okay, so what they do is they literally strap you to the freaking outside of this tower that's like, I don't even know how tall the CN Tower is, it's, it's really tall. Um, and basically you are able to walk around the outside rim of that. I have, I want to do it, um, my buddy Johnny wants me to do it with him on his birthday. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but it's definitely something I'm afraid to do and would like to do though. This guy's channel name is MM, okay, uh, and my question is, do you think Pakistan is safe? Uh, from what I've heard, it's probably not that safe, probably not ideal for tourists. Um, I know there's a lot of things going on, especially past history between different religions, kind of having conflicts with each other. So, and I, I know there's like a lot of uh, like wars that go on and, and a lot of bombings and shit, so it's probably not all that safe. This one is from Eowyn Kinsella. What channel inspires your content the most? Um, I don't know, I have a few channels that really kind of inspire me. Um, one being Shane Dawson for sure, his content, especially if you've kind of followed him over the past 10 years, how his his content has evolved and grown so much and managed to, to acquire such a huge audience and to really get people thinking. Um, and also just the style and the way that he kind of does his videos is just amazing. Another one would probably be Casey Neistat. I mean, you got to give it to that guy. He really knows how to how to put some some videos together, man. His filming, just the way he does everything, is like so totally unique and original that nobody in the world does it the way that he does. And you can really learn a lot just by watching what he does, how he captures things from things from certain angles, and kind of gives you a different perspective. It's it's truly amazing. Next one is from It's Eunice. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. I could literally live off of pizza probably forever. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I think I might do a part two. If you want me to do a part two, let me know in the comments below and ask me a few questions um, so that way I have you know things to answer for the next part. Other than that, don't forget to like this video. Hit that subscribe button if you are new here, and you can also hit the notification bell so that way YouTube lets you know when I make new videos. Thanks for watching, guys. That's it from me. Bye.